Hi, my name is Fred Kohler and I'm a member of the SOLIDWORKS training team. In this video, I'm going to help you decide which method of creating configurations is best for your model. We'll discuss four methods that feed into the same common storage area, the Configuration Manager. Let's get started. Configurations magnify the power and versatility of parts and assemblies by storing multiple variations within a single document. They allow you to create families of parts and control the differences. We can configure parts and assemblies using different methods. If you have a few basic changes like varying a dimension or suppressing some fillets or components, the manual method might be the best solution. Some pros, it's simple and direct, and some cons. Everything must be done manually and it's harder to track changes. Modify configurations can be used to configure most parts and assemblies. This option is actually a group of commands that lead to a common dialog, Modify Configurations. These commands include Configure Feature, Configure Dimension, Configure Material, and Configure Component. On the Pro side, it offers some of the same options as Excel design tables in an internal tabular format. New column headers can be added by double-clicking, and multiple tables can be created. For the cons, the table must be saved if you want to reuse it, and less options and parameters than Excel tables. The configuration table is automatically created when you add the first new configuration, and is stored in the tables folder. It records all of the configuration data, whether that data was created manually, using Modify Configurations, Excel Design Tables, or the Configuration Table itself. Some pros, it's created automatically. It contains all the data that has been configured, plus the configuration settings. It can be used from the start to create all the configuration data. It comes in handy when you're not sure what has been configured. For a con, although it looks and works similar to Modify Configurations, it's a much larger table and can be difficult to use. Excel design tables work best for the most complex configurations. As the name implies, it requires an Excel spreadsheet. It also has all the power of Excel from formatting to cell formulas. Some pros and cons. Pros, it allows use of all the Excel functionality and it has the most configuration parameters. Cons, it is more complex and requires a separate Excel table. Here's a quick recap of the four methods shown in this video. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, click the link in the description below to access more great content.